welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video in this video i'll be predicting the lightweight bout between patty pimblett versus kazula vargas i think his name's not changed or whatever the case may be but he kazula vargas for this video i might later change it in um the title of the video but for this for the present time this man's kazula vargas to me so um well, I got Kazula Vargas. He got some good, powerful kicks, decent wrestling, decent grappling. But um, I feel like Pimble is the better grappler. Pimble is the bigger man out there, cuts more weight, definitely eats more weight, and the man be putting on like 200 pounds in between weight class. I mean, you know what? What that um British um commentator dude or British reporter dude be looking like a uh, armchair version that dude, whatever the case, is, whatever his name may be. But he be looking like that dude when he not in between camps, in between fighting. But um, anywho. Definitely eat a lot and all that stuff, but that has nothing to really do with the prediction. Maybe later on in his career, that's gonna come back to bite him bad, just like it did um, Ricky Haddon, but it is what it is. It's a British thing, you just you won't get it, but um, whatever the case may be, and I'm not British, but any of any, you, any. But um, yeah, I see Pimblet going out there. Probably been a tougher fight than it should be. I don't think Pimblet is, his, I think he's, he's a bigger name than he is a talent. He's definitely talented, he's definitely skilled, he definitely, you know, loved the game and all, he loved the fight and stuff, but. I don't think he's as big a talent as he's a big uh, name. So I think it's going to be a tougher fight. Just like his last fight, you know, I picked him to lose that fight. But it's not going to be a pretty, I'm going to say, it's not going to be a pretty just go out there look clean and shut out performance, I don't think. Probably be a little bit rough through the first couple goings. But then once um, Pamela starts to connect on him, I start to see um, Vargas Wilt as the fight stretches on. Start to see Pamela get the better from him. You know, it started like the fight starts smooth on. He starts to connect a little bit more. Vargas starts to get broken down a little more. And he starts to find a little bit more success in the grappling. And it becomes a little bit easier for him. But early on, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna be competitive. It's gonna be back, you know, like a little bit back and forth. But clearly, Pimble in the lead. But it's not gonna be like I said. It's not gonna be smooth. It's not gonna be just run right through him, cut through him like a ball, bust saw, and him just come out here and look like the star. Him just slide, counter, boom, boom, fight over. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be that. He's gonna take some shots. He's gonna take another chin. He's a scoozer or whatever scouser or whatever the case may be. Not gonna be the prettiest fight early on, but. It's definitely going to be, I feel, easier than his first fight. Not going to take as many big shots. Made some big kicks to the body or to the leg here and there, but go eat it. Keep it in his face. Touch him. Wear him down. And then start to break him down. And then start to, like I said, grab the transition open more. And then things start to blend, like move through him like butter. Tired, worn down, beat down Vargas. And then I see him tapping him out in the third round. So in this fight, I got Patty Pimlet be a third round submission. 